Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today we're getting close to 3 nanometers. Are Intel's 10th gen CPUs worse than their 9th gen counterparts? The 3950X works on AMD's cheapest boards, and Intel is ramping things up. But first, check out today's sponsor, Drop. Formerly known as MassDrop, a group buy website with amazing deals on PC hardware. It's free to sign up, and if you do it today, you'll get $20 off your first Drop made item. So head to the link in the description below. Okay. It's news time, and first up for today, if 5 nanometers wasn't enough, TSMC is set to bring 3 nanometers to market fairly soon. According to DigiTimes, the company has bought up to 30 hectares of land to construct their 3 nanometer fabs in Taiwan's Science Park, and they're actually expecting to begin construction next year with high volume production by 2023. Basically, we're reaching some wildly tiny transistors. Unfortunately, quantum tunneling will soon be a major hindrance to further miniaturization, so a new technique or 3D packaging will eventually be required for further power increases. Let's just say, I'm excited for the future. Next up for today, some reports have been circulating that suggest Intel's upcoming 10,980XE is worse than their current Gen 9980XE, and I want to address that, as well as go over the first leaked review for the company's newest 10th gen desktop CPU. But first, what am I talking about? Well, a leaked review for Intel's 10th gen 10,980XE was recently published on Lab 501, and it's honestly about what I would expect. The thing is that some outlets have noticed the Cinebench R20 benchmark shows that their newest CPU is actually worse than last gen. At first, I was going to defend Intel, and kind of I still am, given we have to look at other benchmarks because Lab 501 didn't have a 9980XE to compare. And there's a lot of factors involved in these comparisons. Plus, there isn't really much of a difference between the two to justify it. To top it off, both the 10,980XE and 9980XE have the same all-core boost. But then if we look at POV Ray, we see something similar, yet still not that far off. But Lab 501 actually claims that clock for clock, the 10,980XE is worse due to their in-silicon security patches for meltdown. And those patches are there. Basically, things aren't looking so good for Intel's next-gen CPUs, especially since the all-core overclock will likely not be much better from last-gen, regardless of what we've heard about better custom overclocking. Ultimately, the new 10,980XE may actually need better clocks to even compete with their last-gen equivalent. And yes, the new chip has better boost frequencies besides the all-core boost, but anytime you have to use all cores, the 10,980XE may actually be worse. Of course, more testing needs to be done. I ultimately see them being right around the same performance, unless the 10,980XE really can overclock like crazy. If anything, Cascade Lake X is likely hoping to get by on their price drop, but considering AMD's upcoming Threadripper CPUs will likely blow them out of the water, Intel is looking less and less enticing every day. And it gets even worse for Intel with today's next story. In an update by Biostar that shows supported motherboards for AMD's upcoming Ryzen 9 3950X, you can see that they actually list A320 boards. Yeah, we're talking the cheapest AM4 motherboards with the worst VRMs and inability to even overclock, will actually support AMD's upcoming 16-core behemoth. Now, with that said, I do suggest you wait for reviews because there's likely going to be some throttling, though the TDP is still not that high, so A320 boards could actually support it without too many issues. Basically, let's just say AMD did socket support right. Lastly for today, Intel's relatively boring lineup of 10th gen CPUs may not last for very long. During their recent earnings call, Bob Swan stated, quote, We are accelerating the pace of process node introductions and moving back to a two to two and a half year cadence. Basically, Intel is hoping to speed up the time between new processor nodes. He's also confident that the company will bring five nanometers to the market by 2024. Of course, AMD's Zen 4 architecture is expected by 2022, and that's likely based on TSMC's five nanometer process. Basically, while Intel isn't sitting still, neither is AMD. So while that does it for today, I do apologize that I still sound pretty horrible. I've just been coughing a ton, but either way, what did you think of the news? Excited for 3 nanometers or what about the 3950X? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, have a great day.